The fascination with speed gliding is just the speed, the wind being so close to the ground, the fact that you can just move freely in three dimensions. Speed flying is a branch of paragliding, which is mainly practiced by parachutes and paragliders. It's just a shrunken paragliding wing profile. There's one basic precondition for starting with speed flying. You should either have a paragliding background, have masses of acro flying experience and know your wind and weather, or you should come from a parachuting background and you need to have used small sports parachutes for quite a while. Speed flyers are built the same as paragliders, but there are similarities to the parachuting wing profile. The profile isn't set in stone, it's much looser than that a fairly soft mat that fills with air. The cells are open at the front, which creates a profile, which closes up, and it's really easy to steer, to move left or right. Setting off is obviously the most important thing about the sport because otherwise you wouldn't get into the air. Each time I check my fabric, my sail for obvious defaults, check that the lines aren't tangled up, that they're lying nicely, so that when I set off, the wing immediately comes over me, fills with air, and after two or three seconds, I immediately get the input. Is the wing over me properly? I give it as much impetus as I can, and when I achieve impetus, I just take off on my own. It's very easy on skis. On foot, it's a bit harder. After a successful flight, you have to focus on the landing. You should check out the landing sites in advance so you know there are no obstacles. I always make sure that I have enough room in reserve. For the landing itself, well, it's really easy. I just pull both lines downwards. In other words, the cap stalls. It pushes up a bit briefly, falls behind me, and I'm standing on the ground just as normal. You can go speed flying in the summer or in the winter. In winter it's all a bit easier because you can start and land on skis, whatever the terrain. In summer it's harder because in high alpine regions with rocks, boulders, it makes a run that bit harder. We've naturally got about a bit through speed flying. The whole craze started in the Innsbruck area. At that time we were in Vorarlberg, Pitztal or Ötztal. What's so special about the speed flyer is definitely flying along the ground contours. That means an area where the angle's right, so that it's fun on the ground, so that I have a bit of minimum maximum range. I can accelerate downwards, but if I had to, I could glide out of it in flat. A speed flyer has a glide ratio of 3 to 1. In other words, 1 meter down, 3 meters forwards. In summer, we're often at the Brexi. The discipline of swooping is sort of a celebrated thing there. That means just gliding over the surface of the lake, holding your foot into the water so it sprays up a bit. That actually feels better than it sounds.